Ever pondered how to test a motor using a multimeter? This is an essential skill for hobbyists and DIY enthusiasts alike. Today, we're going to demystify the process. First things first, ensure the multimeter is set to the resistance or ohm setting, usually represented by the omega symbol. This setting is crucial as it measures the continuity of the motor's windings. Now let's start by disconnecting the motor from any power source. This is important for safety reasons and to prevent any damage to the multimeter. Next, identify the two terminals of the motor. These are usually labeled as A and B or 1 inch and 2. Once you've located the terminal, set the multimeter probes to the resistance or ohms mode. Now take one probe and touch it to one of the motor terminals. Take the other probe and touch it to the other terminal. Observe the multimeter reading. If the reading is close to zero or shows continuity, it means the motor windings are intact. If the reading is infinite or shows no continuity, it indicates a problem with the motor windings. To further troubleshoot, you can also test each terminal against the motor's casing. If there is continuity, it means there is a short circuit and the motor needs to be repaired or replaced. Remember, always refer to the manufacturer's instructions and safety guidelines when working with electrical equipment. And that's it. Now you know how to test a motor using a multimeter. It's a simple yet valuable skill that can save you time and money in the long run. So go ahead, give it a try and become a master at motor testing. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more DIY tips and tricks. And next, disconnect the motor from any power source. This step is vital for safety and for guaranteeing accurate readings. With the multimeter ready and the motor disconnected, it's time to bring the two together. The two probes of the multimeter should touch the two terminals of the motor. Don't worry about the order, we're just looking for continuity here. Now pay attention to the multimeter display. A motor in good condition will show a low resistance reading, which means there's continuity in the windings. An infinite or very high reading, that could spell trouble, indicating a possible break in the windings. In such cases, the motor may require repair or replacement. For those working with DC motors, there's an additional step. The multimeter can also be used to check for voltage output while the motor is running. This can help verify if the motor is receiving the right power supply. And there you have it. Testing a motor with a multimeter is a straightforward and effective way to diagnose potential issues. Remember, first set the multimeter to the right setting, then disconnect the motor, touch the probes to the terminals and check the reading. And for DC motors, don't forget to check the voltage output. This handy knowledge can save time and money and is an essential tool in any DIY enthusiast toolkit. So don't hesitate to dive in and remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tutorials and DIY projects. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.